So I think it's time we talk about the Google Pixel. So I've been using the Pixel 2 for the last 24 hours, and this is going to be a gathering of my thoughts, my favorite features, and what you can expect from this device. And of course, I'm gonna save the full review for the Pixel XL, so be sure to subscribe if you wanna see that video when it drops, and be sure to hit that thumbs up button. On with things, a quick little spec overview. This guy packs the Snapdragon 835 processor, four gigabytes of RAM, and either 64 or 128 gigabytes of storage. Now, we also do have a 27 700 milliamp hour battery inside of here. Of course, the Pixel 2 XL packs a larger 3520 milliamp hour battery, but we'll see how battery life fares between the two of them in the full review, so stay tuned. As far as build quality goes, well, this thing's pretty solid. I mean, we have Gorilla Glass 5 around the front side. We have a nice textured finish on the back. It's really interesting, this finish that they went with here, but more or less the design looks very similar to the last generation Pixel that we saw, at least on this guy right here, and especially when it comes to the display around the front side, we have that standard aspect ratio, which I personally don't mind. Speaking of the front side right here, we have a five inch 1080p AMOLED display and this thing looks fantastic. The colors are nice and vivid. I'm a big fan of everything happening on the front here, and it's a great display to consume media on. Of course, the XL has a larger display, but what complements a nice, large, vivid display like this very well? That's gotta be these front-facing speakers. These things are amazing. I'm a big fan, and I'm so glad that we have them here. Another cool feature that's kind of built into the design of the phone is the ability to squeeze it and launch Google Assistant. Now we've seen this feature previously on the HTC U11, but we have it right here, and I'm a big fan of being able to do that. It's actually a nice little shortcut to be able to access Google Assistant. As far as software goes on this, it is exactly what you'd expect from a Google or a Nexus device or anything like that. We're running stock Android here with Oreo, Android 8.0, and yes, Google builds in slight little enhancements all around the UI, which I'm a big fan of, but this is the cleanest Android experience you are ever going to get, bar none. If you buy a Pixel, that is the best Android experience you're going to have. Though I should say, as far as performance goes, because there are a lot of manufacturers that add pretty cool features to Android that you might be missing having such a stripped down version of it, but you know, to each their own. We do have a fingerprint scanner here on the back side, but that is not my favorite feature on the back here when talking about the Pixel 2. I am in love with this camera right here. It's a 12.2 megapixel shooter, and we have an eight megapixel camera around the front side, and in pixel fashion, they are phenomenal. I really do like the fact that we have a portrait mode on not just the rear camera, but also the front facing camera, and it works incredibly, and we don't need a dual camera setup to do that. Google has nailed that algorithm, and I, I don't know, there's just, there's so much praise that I can give about the Pixel 2 in the first 24 hours, but you'll have to stay tuned for my full review if you wanna see if that changes over time. Now Google probably could have slimmed down the front bezels a little bit. It doesn't bother me a ton. I actually like the form factor of the Pixel 2, the regular size or the smaller version, whatever you want to call it. But I don't know, let me know your thoughts about that in the comments. We do have an IP67 dust and water resistance rating with this guy as well. Would have been nice to see IP68, but I'm not complaining. I, I personally don't drop my phone in water ever really so it's not a big deal to me i know some people do care about that but overall this is a pretty well-rounded smartphone for 2017 and i'm excited to check out the pixel 2 xl and see what that's all about and give you guys my full review in the very near future but i wanted to let you know what it was like spending 24 hours with the Pixel 2, and it's quickly become my favorite phone of the year. But let me know what you think about the Pixel 2 or the Pixel 2 XL in the comment section below, and be sure to leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. 
Thank you so much for watching, everyone. This is Dom, and I'll catch you in the next video.